Hello everybody, welcome to IT Skills channel. My name is Aiden, I'm your host today. In today's video, we're going to talk to you about VMware versus Nutanix. Which one is better? You have been seeing a lot of videos out there and we're going to try to figure out which one is better. I have Nutanix set up. I have the Nutanix Startup Edition set up and I want to show you that. But before that, let's talk about some of the good and the bad. So Nutanix and all the VMware. So let's just say, first of all, number one, what does new VMware had as an advantage? And we're going to compare the advantage. So the pro of the VMware is going to be hardware, hardware friendly. Hardware friendly. This is a very important for VMware because you can run it in about anything. You can run it on Intel Nuke. You can run it on anything you like. And that's a good pro that the VMware has. On Nutanix, Nutanix has a hyper converge infrastructure so this is extremely nice meaning that you don't have to you don't have to basically you know spend spin up storage you don't have to do anything crazy it just works you know you don't have to do a whole lot with the nutanix so that's what it is and then also number two on the vmware list it's going to be Popularity. Popularity. So that means it's very popular that the community is no knows about it. They are able to support it a lot easier, a lot better. But on the other hand, Nutanix is getting enterprise so basically i'm just gonna say and for short is enterprise preferred so a lot of enterprise is beginning to prefer nutanix because they know it's gonna give them the most for their buck you know they don't have to worry about maintaining the environment they don't have to worry about having experience experienced engineers they just uh, know that if they get this they have going to have a state-of-the-art support and so that's what we're going to do so let me go ahead and let's so number three for vmware is going to be so they have a huge community new vmware is and uh for the community is what makes uh, VMware thick because everybody knows that if you have a problem with VMware, you go to their VMware community. There's a lot of experienced people that can guide you to pretty much anything you have going on. So they have a huge community. On the other side with Nutanix, they just have a growing community. So they may, they're not as big as, you know, they're not as big as uh, new uh, the VMware right now, but they are getting there, especially with the Nutanix Community Edition. So they have a growing community. And then number four, this is going to be only five comparison, mainly because we're just trying to get the highlights. Number four is going to be, in this case for VMware, you're talking about it was always easy to access so for a long time vmware gave the vmware esxi for free for limit of a core i believe to anyone permanently you don't have to worry about subscribing or anything like that that was free and you could run it on any hardware you wanted to so any hardware you could run it and so basically, it was easy to access it. Anybody that had a home lab, you could access that no problem. 
This may be changing since VMware is purchased by Broadcom, as we know. So they already eliminated that hardware or the ease the license, the free license that people had. So that changed. I still have to put it down because technically you can still get the the free you know sixty days version of it. So I cannot rule it out. And plus, Broadcom is taking some of their decision back. As you saw the video I made, they're beginning to regret some of the things they did. So number four on the Nutanix for, you know, benefit wise is going to be the fact that they are. In this case, let me think about it. What would be the fourth one for them? Oh, yeah, they have a. Huge. Support. So in this case, the support will be actually it's just going to be huge customer support. So the customer support is going to be great for Nutanix, especially if you're dealing with enterprise. So I'm just going to say great customer support, which is a bonus because if you are enterprise, you want a great customer support when you have a problem. And if you make a new ticket with Nutanix, they will support you like for real like they won't hold it they won't stop until they help you fix your issue so that is always good to have that confidence in it and then number five vmware the advantage wise it has this is again only pros no cons yet i'm not focusing on the car only pros for vmware it's all about compatibility compatibility with pretty much any OS. So if you have Linux, if you have, you know, they have compatibility with anything. So if you have Linux, if you have Windows, basically VMware is compatible and it, it will work fine. You don't have to do anything crazy. On the other side, Nutanix, they have basically no paid or in this case, I'm just going to say free management so solution tool, free management solution. So if you think about it, when you buy or get VMware, if you think about it, when you got VMware, you have to think about the idea of getting a vCenter if you're going in a big envi environment. But if you go with like a Nutanix, you don't have to get a vCenter. You have to get a, something called Prism Element, which is free. It's part of the initial deployment. Or if you want to go for more features, you get something called Prism Central. And those are what your management tool is. And that is all for free. When the, unlike vCenter, you have to pay for it. You don't have to pay for the the Nutanix management tool is free. You can manage the hypervisor all through the Prism solution. So you have Prism, Prism element. I'm just going to put a Prism E and then Prism, Prism central. Those are your, those are your tools that you can manage. In this case, you have you know, manage really wise, you have to get something. So I just put in a, I gave it the props, what do you just do? Obviously, I'm going to go back and maybe do cons as well, but this is just the pro. So this is all pro. The good about Nutanix or good about VMware and good about Nutanix. So no cons over here. Eventually, on the next video, we can do the cons. But now let me give you a tour of Nutanix because I wanted to show you. This is ultimately something you gotta see. So so this is my Nutanix right now in my environment. I'm gonna zoom in for you. So over here, you can see I'm running the built-in AHV. That's what I'm running right now. That's the built-in AHV. And it's telling me the summary. And it's pretty much, this is where I'm connected to, I'm just calling my v environment, you know, IT skills. And then underneath of it, you can see I have my health, I have, you know, my health 
I have my VM, my storage, my network, my hardware, my file server, my data protection, analyst, an analysis, alert, task, LCM, lifecycle management. I have this over here. This is the new prism element section of Nutanix. And it really is super nice because I'm zoomed in right now, but if I slightly zoomed out, you can see all the analytics over here. You know, how much CPU I'm using out of how many, CP how many CPU I have left. And then I have how many memory I'm using out of how many I have left. And this is my fault tolerant. I can tolerate one node failure. That's what he's talking about. So this is all great. And then here is my other stats. He's telling me my cluster is in good standing right now. I have 48 VMs. I know it's crazy, right? For home lab to have 48, 48 VMs, it's super crazy. But I do do a lot of testing. I do have a lot of video made. I just didn't have time to edit it. And I occasionally just deploy a lot of things. And then you have your disk. I have nine disks total. And I also have a storage container. That's four. I have three hosts, which means I have three servers. They're all in a three node cluster. So each server is a node, AKA three host. And then I have storage pool one. I have services one. And then here is would be anything that I get warning, critical alert. So I have three warnings. This is all old warning. And then that's it. So, and then this is obviously my username, etc. So this is essentially your Nutanix, you know, prism element. And it tells you everything that I need to know about. So the next thing you got is in Nutanix is going to be your prism, prism uh, central. This one, I have to log in because I have, it logged me out. It logs me out quicker than anything else. Let me go ahead, log in and come back here. All right, so this is uh, logging into the Prism Central, and you can see over here, I got pretty much everything. I got my, you know, my dashboard that tells me slightly different than what we saw earlier, but you still got your CPU usage, cluster CPU usage. You got your task over here, and then the name of the cluster, your dashboard. Everything is still ideally the same, except you get additional, a lot of features over here. If you click on the drop down menu, which I'll zoom in, you get a host of features. You got your admin center, you got apps and marketplace, you got cloud infrastructure, you got your inf you know, infrastructure. That's where I'm at right now. I have intelligence. I have a lot. So, but obviously, you know, we're not going to be able to go everything in here because it is a limited after all, or because of the fact that, you know, this, I want to make this video shorter. But if you want to see more detailed video of Nutanix, Prism Central, or Prism Element, or if you want to see more detail about that, please let me know. But here is all I got going on right now. I got too many things going on right now. So it's definitely very nice, as you can see. I am definitely living a little bit of a luxury in terms of my labs. You know, I'm really enjoying it. But yeah, so that's all I have, guys. Comment below. What do you think? Do you think Nutanix is your winner? Do you think, you know, VMware is your winner? Tell me. But know this. This is the past. I believe this is going to be our past. And this is going to be the future. Even if you're not using it right now, I can see you using this. I can see everybody using this in the future. And that's just my opinion, my honest opinion. But I do truly believe that Nutanix will be the preferred hypervisor you know, come maybe in a couple of years, even like uh, right now, I know a lot of people are getting away from VMware going to Nutanix. Yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Thanks so much for watching the video. Have a great rest of the day. Peace.